truck should be open, but they're taking forever. And they opened it up for one of their, yeah, 8.02. <laughs> should be open at 8. Essentially, the goal of today is to teach a friend of mine how to fish. How many times have you been fishing in your life? Like, three times. All right. That's the thing, you know, the, the best way to keep this sport active and going is to, you know, obviously spread it to, you know, everyone you know and as best you can. So, right, I'm at one of my favorite lakes. Oh, shit, the fucking water. Yay! They're going to open it. But, um, you know, yeah. So hopefully today we should really uh, lay the smack down on these fish. And I'm All right, thanks for tuning in. I apologize for the uh, really poor audio quality on that little uh, introduction. I don't have a uh, camera mount for the car, so I just kind of winged it. But to just kind of break it down, I took a good friend of mine and A Pi fraternity brother uh, fishing. Um, he wanted to learn how to fish past just your uh, your beginner style live worms and bluegill and pumpkin seed sunfish and um, I took him to a lake I do really really well at and I showed him how to bass fish today um, it was a really really tough day of fishing you know we only caught a few fish um, I usually do really really well at this place but I think one of the reasons for that was because we had a cold front front blow in and usually I'm just you know I'm able to kind of throw Sankos to the outer edge but and I was able to get them, but what happens, what seems to be happening this year is that at this place, the grass is growing thicker and farther out into the middle of the lake than ever before, and those fish just tucked in on the outer grass edge, and it was hard for us to really get to them, you know, it's kind of hard to punch, you know, from 50 yards away, and if they're not hitting a sank on the outer edge, uh, it's kind of tough with the uh, thick grass, and they wouldn't go after frogs either. So we were really in for a long haul today, but enjoy nonetheless. You have a fish? Yeah, I got a fish already. <laughs> you do not have a fish. You were snagged. Let me see it. No, stop, stop holding. Stop holding. That's all right. You want to? All right. Here we go. Oh, it's cold. F I was gonna go in anyway, but like, ugh, I wanted to prolong that. Oh, it's nice, right? Yeah, see all these sunfish? Yeah, cool, right? The oh, bluefish. They're in salt water. Where, why, why can't I get this thing out? That's a frog. That is the good old bullfrog. Are you gonna, are you gonna see that? We'll see. Alright, so what you want to look for, see how this grass? Come here. Yes. You realize it's not just one massive field, right. right? Right here you have grass and then you have an area where the grass stops. Right. So Where's maybe not right here. Stops? Hang on. See how you have grass, 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 and then right here yeah. it stops? Yeah. So in similar areas like this, they'll wait in the grass and you put your lure right outside for right outside of the grass, they'll look out into the open and they'll come out and grab it. Another thing you want to look for, let me show you another example. Come here. Grass, grass, grass. Oh shit, there's a hole right here. Let's see if, let's see, yeah, let's see if something comes out and grabs us. It very well could. I very well can get a fisher. Or, another thing too. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, come out, yeah, come out here. So right here, here's what I want you to choose. So you look for just anything, any differences in the grass. Just watch your step. There's like rocks. Oh shit, I'm gonna fall. Alright. So. Right there. Where? Yeah, like right there. There's some grass, and then you have it like where it breaks out. Now watch. I'm gonna get a fish on this cast. Should I try something? Try throw it, throw it right out there as far as you can. You're fine. And what you want to do, you want to let this bait fall in the water. It looks like this when it falls. Watch. Watch this. When it falls, it goes like this. And you twitch it, and then you just move, you know, you just move on. Nice. Let it sit there. Don't cast yet. What you got to do is, come here, and you got to take this grass off. It's not gross. It just, pretend it's grass on land. I know, yeah. Yeah. So, so what you gotta do, and also, yeah, when you cast, use both hands, you have this, a split grip. So you come here, and just go. Just a, you know, just a quick thing. Now, you, 
you'll know, because your line's going to literally go like this. Dunk. You're going to feel like a thunk. Oh, there's, watch this. Watch this, bud. So I threw it out there. There's, of course, some still weeds out there. And what I do, I pop this up, and I let it fall. Pop, pop, pop. Let it fall. Look at that. There's Wait, a... Oh, I do. Yeah, that's where you should be throwing. Nice cast, dude. Nice. Flip your... No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. And you'll see your line move off. You'll see maybe your line twitch or something like that. And that's how you know you have a bite. You'll see your line just do something different. Okay. All right, reel it in. Clear the grass off. Clear the grass off. So watch this. See how right in there? Look at this. You have grass, and then you have like tall grass. So you have that little like, like meeting ground, and they'll sit in there. And it's all about just like reading the area. It's looking for differences. You look for anything that's different, right? It's you, you know, and. <laughs> That's gonna so good. Cast it, cast it in these little areas right here. I've got, I've caught fish in there before. Oh yeah. Got one? I got one. There we go. Huh? No, this is just the Senko. Not bad though. Huh? No. Come over here, man. They're, they're hanging over here. See, yeah, I knew this. This was... This had to be the deal. I didn't realize how strong the wind was blowing over here. So it's flat calm back there and they didn't want to eat. This bait kind of imitates a, uh, like a bluegill and a crawfish at the same time. And what it is, you work it on the bottom. So I'm thinking because of that, and I have a weight on it, I might be able to cast a little bit better. And then, because I think that Sanko might be too light, I want to try this. I should know right away. If I get a bite on this, I will rig you up. There's no reason to change you yet. If it may not even work. Well, they just might be over there. They could be. a good looking spot too. I think so. Alright. Here's what I'm gonna try. Yeah? Alright, let me see this. Now I'm just gonna let this sink and what you do with this floor. Oh alright. You didn't see that? I just lost one. I that thing almost ripped a rat out of my hand. Holy shit. All right, maybe we can stay here a little bit longer. I was, dude, on the first cast. I, this. I think it might be a little easier to fish. All you want to do is just drag this through the bottom. Drag it, drag it through the bottom. Hmm? Drag it through what? On the bottom. The oh, bottom yeah. of the lake. Oh, the bottom. You can also throw it in the holes in the grass too. First thing, pull these off, disconnect them. You want maximum movement. This thing kicks in the water. Right. See the eyes? Yep. No. There's the eyes. There's the eyes, yep. Eyes up. Put it through. You, the key here. The butthole. Yes. 
The key here is to rig it straight. The full penetration. <laughs> oh, there we go. You want it to be completely straight. You punch it through. You slide it up the hook. Just like this. Watch this. And then you do it through the then tail. Then you take this. Through the, through the slit over there. Right where the, like, the head is. The head, yeah. And what you're going to do. There we go. Just yeah. punch it through. And then just kind of slightly. Embed, embed it in there. Slightly bury the hook. And you slide this kind of like down here. And now, so what this does is it keeps the weight from like sliding around. This is a weight, right? This is a. That's a tungsten. tungsten. Yes. So now, when you, when you drag this or you throw this. Oh, I will. Yeah, like, yeah, you, got yep. you drag it, you shake it. When it's in a patch like that, I don't really drag it that much. I just kind of shake it and lift it up. But what I like to do, I throw it out, and you just drag it all the way back to the weed edge. Now, I let it sink. That's a good one. That's a good fish. See what I'm doing? Yeah. Keeping the rod up, reeling down the slack. Oh, he's buried in there. That's a nice one. <laughs> Look at that one, dude. That is a nice one. Jeez, easy, buddy. All right, dude, we're staying here a little bit longer. Well, you know this works. Look at that. That's a nice, that's a quality fish. Holy shit. You gonna weigh him? I say two pounds. Two pounds. Nice fish, right? Holy shit. Look at that. Take a so picture of that. Sure. Nice. No, 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 dude, swing it over. <laughs> nice, buddy. All right. I was gonna probably grab this. Good, good job. Good job. Uh, first things first. Look at that. You swing a fish over. You're gonna break the rod or the line. This is a hundred fifty dollar rod, dude. You hooked him perfectly. <laughs> All right. Look at that. This is how you take him off. You just grab him in the mouth. He may wiggle. He's not going to hurt you. He's, he's, he's small, but that's fine. Grab him. Just like... No, no, no. On, on this side. Just grab him. Hard. He, he's not going to... He's, like, he's not going to hurt you. There we go. Congratulations. Oh my god. No, watch this. Oh my goodness, that's a really nice one. I saw him in there. Ooh, nice. Three pounder, definitely. Uh, yeah, come down here. A hundred percent. Just take your time. Wow, that's a f <laughs> Look at that thing. Any picture? <sighs> nice. That's, see, this is like usually the average fish beat. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, aside from just one last fish that I'm going to show, uh, this is going to be the end of the video, not too much more went on, but uh, all in all, I had to say, um, it, it was a good, it was a good success, you know, I, I put my friend on a fish, uh, unfortunately, the bite was tougher than I anticipated, and, you know, if there was anything I could do over, um, I, I really would, um, so, as you just saw, I caught a, a nice three-pounder, and I saw that fish sitting in there, and out of instinct, I just threw to him, but, you know, I haven't really... I haven't taught anyone how to fish in a really long time, and uh, if I can do that over again, I really, really wish I would have told him to come down and, and he would have threw to that fish, because he would have caught it, and uh, it would have meant so much more to him than it did to me. Um, but, unfortunately, I can't look back, and, you know, hopefully the next time I teach someone how to fish, I will uh, remember to do that, but, you know, I'm still, I'm still a young person, and a lot of uh, I have a lot of learning left to do in this sport still so I hope you enjoyed the video and I will roll the clip from the last fish I caught of the day
Uh, thank you for watching. I would appreciate if you subscribe. Hang on. Hang on, dude. Yeah, that's why I said hang on. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, he's over, but he's a legal-sized fish.